Hey everybody, Ronnie here. So, I uh, finally got out of the shop in Pasco, Washington. Uh, got my next load, which was picking up in Spokane. I drove up to Spokane and uh, they didn't fix my truck. So, I got a little upset. And I, I, I called Peterbilt. And uh, here's the call. In feedback, what can I do for you today? Uh, hi, my name's Ronnie Joubert. I have a, a 23579. Um, I uh, okay. had an issue that popped up last, last week on Thursday. Um, my uh, dashboard lit up. It was uh, showing uh, no ABS, no traction control, uh, and no cruise control. And I took it to Dobbs Peterbilt in Pasco, Washington. Um, and uh, it was a little bit later on Thursday afternoon. Okay, so they, they got a, a look at it, but didn't really get it fi uh, figured out. Okay, they just said they thought it was probably uh, something with the speed sensor on the uh, driver's side front truck front uh, wheel. So uh, Friday, they put a completely different person on my on my truck, and he spent all day Friday uh, working on it, and uh, at four points in the day they came up to me and said my truck was fixed and before I could even get my truck hooked back to my trailer or pulled off of the uh, off of the property it came back all four times and that uh -huh. was Friday was was completely torn up at that point okay so they were closed for the weekend uh, during the weekend I lost my load so no pay then uh, Monday, back at the shop, they worked on it, and uh, I don't know what they did, uh, but they said my truck was done and asked me to take it for a quick test drive. So I took it for a quick test drive about, uh, you know, between five and ten miles, and everything seemed okay. All right. Well, now it's Tuesday. This morning, I got to my shipper for my new load, which I finally got, and uh, up in, in uh, Spokane, Washington, and boom, everything comes back. The ABS is gone, the traction control's gone, the cruise control's gone. Oh, and I one, my, one of my high beams was misaligned. I asked them to fix that. They said they did, it's not. So. I have spent, I spent five days there. I did not get anything fixed on my truck. I paid for it. I sure did pay for it, but nothing was fixed. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really upset. Now I've got to go to the, the Peterbilt here in, 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 in Spokane, and I can't get that appointment until tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna I'm stuck here another day and I don't know if I'm gonna get to keep this load or not. Okay. And I'm I'm sorry to raise my voice, but I, I cannot express how upset I am that they sent me back on the road with a broken truck. They didn't do yeah, anything I, I, yep, to good. my truck. I, Yeah, I, I would definitely be upset too with that uh, situation. And I know you're not you're not mad at me. You're upset at the situation, um, and rightfully so, I think. So what I can do for you here is I can open up what's called a feedback case, and we'll see if there's anything we can do to sort of help you along here or uh, anything like that. So 
Uh, do you have last either the VIN number for your truck? The last how many? Eight, please. Uh, just a second. It is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. PD eight six one zero four zero. Joubert, J O U B as in boy, E R T. And then, uh, what's the name of your company? Super Ego. Best number for you, is that going to be 541 Yes, sir. And did you buy this truck new? Um, I'm doing a lease purchase. Ah. I'm just going to be typing. If I get quiet on you, I'm just typing. I understand. traction control and cruise yeah and the high beam the driver's side high beam headlight that was a separate thing but they said they fixed that and it's not fixed either when it happened when I first showed up at the uh, dealership in Pasco. And then on Friday they assigned a different tech to it? Yeah, and then a different one on Monday also. As far as I can tell, all that they did, they, they didn't change any hardware, okay? Uh, no parts changes. Um, from what I can tell, all that they did was plugged in uh, with their computer and clear codes over and over and over and over again.
Friday, that was when they told you that they had it fixed about four times? Yeah, they did it four times on Friday and then once on Monday. first started no um, I was uh, about 150 miles into my drive when everything came back mm -hmm. when all the the, the air lights came back um, when I started my drive it was just before dawn and I noticed that my my headlight mm -hmm. my, my high beam when I turned it on was not was not shining out it was shining you know right in front of my truck so I, I knew right there that yeah. was fixed I do most of my driving during the day and I was like okay I'll just you know set that aside but then you know uh, I made it about 150 miles and then everything just blew up again Yeah, that's where they came back. Yeah. Okay. No, um, my appointment's not until tomorrow morning. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at a, a truck stop. Obviously, you just 
want your truck fixed finally and correctly. I, yeah, and I want to register how upset I am with the people at Dobbs Pier built in Pasco. Mm-hmm. You know, they spent so many hours hooked up to my truck with their computer and didn't actually do anything. And they sent me back on the road knowing they hadn't done anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had similar experiences like that kind of happen with my own personal vehicles, um, which is frustrating enough when when I'm, I'm not using that vehicle to make money. And uh, I've got other vehicles I can use. But if you're owner-operator truck or if you're like with a company like Super Ego, that's your truck and that's, that's the way you're making money. Yes. Um, it's not just that it's a safety thing you know I have no ABS I have no traction control okay I I'm assuming I have none yeah. because that's what the lights say and I know I have no cruise control because that went out at the same time and that literally stopped working yeah yeah and that's that's especially tough when you're driving long distances. Um, but that that's why I'm what I'm basing the, you know, I, I must not have ABS or uh, traction control because, you know, the lights are there and the, 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 the cruise control message is on there and I lost the cruise control, so I must have lost the others. Uh-huh. Yeah, it sounds like... Um Something's not right here, for sure. But I've got a case number open for you. All right. Let me grab it. And um, let me know when you're ready for that. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Okay, it's going to be case number 05. 05. 66. 66. 88. 88. 44. Four, four. And uh, you should get a response within about two business days at most. It's usually going to be before that. Okay. And if you don't hear back by then, please feel free to call us, uh, and we'll we'll escalate it again. We'll, we'll bug the service manager until district service manager until we get back to you. All right, thank you. Uh, and then for the number to call us at here, yeah, it's going to be the 800-473-8372. And uh, select option five for feedback. We're here eight to four Pacific time, and uh, our offices are actually in Renton, Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but if you have anything else you need to add or if there's any developments, feel free to call us as well. And uh, we'll be glad to update your case. All right, thank you. All right, sir. Hope you have as good a day as you can with this. All right, thank you. All right, bye, sir. All right, so let's see if that did any good. Find out. Alright, so, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give me some well wishes down in the comments below. If you have an interest in joining Super Ego, give me a call. The number's right there, and I'll put it in the comments down below. And uh, if you have any, any questions, give me a holler. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.